Hi, my name is Michael with Iconasys. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough setting up our LED lights for wireless dimming. Uh, with your purchase of an Iconasys LED studio light or medium LumiPad or large LumiPad lighting kit, you would have received a remote control. Again, this is a wireless remote that uh, has a distance, a range up to about 100 feet and will allow you to control your dimming rather than on the LED display, you'll control it wirelessly. So the first thing that we're going to do is power on our light and what we want to do is obviously power on our remote control as well and we're going to want to set these to the same channel so to do so with this light this is the spectro 400 pro light these can be purchased individually or again it's included with our medium lumipad 360 lighting kit um, what I'm going to do is actually, you're going to see right there, it's a little blue light that's next to the D. That's denoted for you can control the dimming. So if I twist it left and right, I'm controlling the brightness of the light. Now if I hold mode, it's going to change it into uh, a channel. And we're going to select the channel that we're going to connect our remote control to that again will allow the wireless frequency to communicate back and forth with the light. Uh, dimming as well as the color temperature control. So we can adjust this. We'll have 99 different options. I'm just going to leave it on one and I'll just hit mode again. And now what we're going to do on a remote here is just power it on and we're going to see there's little LED, there's red LED, uh, orange LED, and just no LED. And if this is set to no LED, that means you're choosing your different channels. So right now it's set to channel 25. I'm going to drop this down to channel one. And what we should be able to do here now is if I hit this menu button at the bottom, we're going to change it to wireless. Um, sorry, yeah, let's go to the wireless dimming that's denoted by the red LED up top. And it might be a bit hard for you to see here. Let me just move it off to the side and actually turn off our backlight panel just so it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. And we can start to increase the dimming of the light. Or, pardon me, I just turned it off. Let me turn it back on. And by hitting the plus and minus button, we can control the actual dimming. So we're increasing that, and you're probably going to see the value on the back of the light increase. And it's going to match up here. It's at 99. That's full power. On the remote control, it also says 99 as well. So if I hit it in the negative button, we're going to see the light starts to dim a bit. Now, if we want to switch modes, again, these lights are by color. So I'm just going to hit this three uh, three line button that's the menu and that's I'm going to toggle it to color temperature and right now it's set to 56 and if I start to drop that we're going to see more of an orange light emit from the actual panel itself and now we have it down to 32 which is 3200 and it's probably going to be hard to see but you should see a bit more of an orange cast light and again I'll increase that increase that up to 5600 um, or 56 which is 5600 Kelvin and that's going to emit more kind of a white bluish type light. Now the thing, nice thing about these, you're going to get one remote with each individual panel. If you did have multiple panels, um, you could set up a remote individually for each light to control the dimming individually. Um, the other option would be to control both your lights at once. So we're going to walk through this again here. We're just going to hit mode on the back of the light. It's set to channel one, which is going to match up with what we see here. And if I again toggle to maybe my brightness setting and let me move this back a bit, I'm going to start to increase this. And we're going to see I just increased both lights to 99 dimming. And again, we can obviously lower that color temperature or sorry, that, uh, that dimming value. And then again to toggle where it's going to hit the three line button that will display a value of 56 and we can start to change our color temperature of the lights. And again, it's probably a bit easier to see now with two lights that it's emitting, this is 3200 Kelvin, and it'll go up to 5600 Kelvin. So that's how it works. If there's any questions, let us know. The company is Iconasys. You do get free technical support with your purchase. If you're having troubles with it, let us know. We can walk you through. Thank you.